hey what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today i'm quite excited because i picked up the all new galaxy note 9 yes the 128 gigabyte model of the galaxy note 9 so in this video i'm going to unbox the phone and we will see how the experience is like and review is coming up very soon and before i do this i want to thank you all for the continued love and support because without youtube and without the support of you guys this little purchase would not have been possible so big shout out to all of you guys i adore all of you guys even if you even if you're not my subscriber if you're watching the video so this is the box of the Note 9 and you can see a stylus. This is called the S Pen and this is a metallic gold color S Pen because the color of the phone is metallic gold. I did not buy the blue variant because everyone seems to be buying blue and black. So I picked up something slightly different. So yep, metallic gold and there is really nothing much on the box. I kind of like where Samsung is going with their branding. They want to create a device uh, which you look at and you can tell yes, this is a Samsung phone. So they've got the so they've got rid of this uh, Little branding here on on the front of the box. So this this is the box of the s9 plus All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see how the phone is like All right guys, so here we are. Let's take a look at the box first So we've got an s pen metallic gold s pen in front of the box Galaxy note 9 branding You've got specifications on the back and like I said this is the 128 gigabyte model if you buy the 128 gigabyte model you'll get 6 gigabytes of RAM which is same as the S9 plus but the S9 plus comes with 64 gigabytes of memory so you get 128 gigabyte of memory in the base model of the Note 9 and also if you buy the higher end variant you'll get 512 gigabytes of memory and 8 gigabytes of RAM I personally think that's a little bit of overkill and 128 gigabytes of internal memory 6 gigabyte of RAM is more than enough for even a power user because I use the Galaxy S9 Plus and 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabyte of internal memory is still more than enough so uh, we've got double the uh, internal memory on the Note 9, we've got S Pen and the interesting part about the S Pen is that it has a little super capacitor which charges up and then you can use the Bluetooth functionality and all that all that good stuff has been carried over from the S9 so we've got dual aperture 12 megapixel OIS camera super slow motion 8 megapixel front camera iris scanner uh, stereo speakers which are tuned by AKG you have earphones which are also AKG and one of the features that sets this phone apart from the Galaxy S9 Plus is that 4000 mAh battery. So I, you know guys I use the S9 Plus and unfortunately I was not impressed by the battery life of this phone. By the end of the day the phone is almost dead and I can't really get more than 5 hours of screen on time on this phone. It's very difficult to stretch beyond that unless you turn on the battery saver and curtail your usage. So I think, uh, and by the way, the S9 Plus has 3,500 milliamp hour battery. So the Note 9 bumps up extra 500 milliamp hours and takes it to 4,000 milliamp hour. So I think this phone will last one and a half to two days uh, for a power user. And of course, we have wireless charging, IP68 dust, and water resistance. And by the way, the screen size. Okay, let's talk about the screen size later. Uh, let me first unbox this phone so that we can see this side by side with the S9 Plus. So Samsung. So we've got the seal here. Let's bring the scissors in. I seriously need to invest in a new uh, scissor slash. You know what? I really need to invest in a scissor slash a blade. All right, so got the seal open. Let's open this thing up. Samsung Note 9. Brilliant. Okay, and here is the phone. Let's take it out. And look at that. Oops, there is IMEI number. I will take that out. But yeah, take a look at this phone. Absolutely brilliant. I love the gold color. So insert the SIM card in a while. Let's take a look what we get inside the box. So we've got a Samsung charger, adaptive fast charging. 
we've got a USB type C to USB A converter thing so you can plug in whatever you want we've got a USB cable USB type C to USB A cable we've got AKG earphones these earphones are fantastic I love them I use these on my Galaxy S9 Plus and here we have some extra earbuds set these aside and here we have a clip now let us take a look inside this thing so we open this like this and we've got the sim card ejection pin very important save this uh, if you don't want to use safety pins later on in case you lose this okay alright so we've got a case for the Note 9 it goes in here like this love it and once again guys if you want to read this just pause the video because I'm not gonna waste much time showing you guys this so this is the front page and this is the back of the user guide and yeah take a look at these SAR values in case you're interested and it says it supports these Indian languages and once again this is the SAR information regional lock guide it says that it should be activated the SIM in the country which, it, which this phone has been issued and you should make a 5 minute call in order to unlock this phone for use with uh, foreign, foreign country SIM cards and shows you how to transfer data and here we have the warranty information oh man look at this thing this color is absolutely beautiful I kinda like it more than the lilac purple and the blue so this is the front part. Let's take out the screen protector in three, two, one. Hmm, not that satisfying. But yeah, look at that beautiful 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display. And let's start take out the back part. Just look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Just love the way the colors are reflecting off the back of the phone. So let's turn this on. I have already inserted my SIM card and a SD card. Hope there is charge. Galaxy Note 9. And first startup will take some time. Nothing to worry about. Alright guys, I've got my SIM card in here and the micro SD card. I've turned the phone on and it's updating the software. So before we dive into the phone itself I want to give you a brief tour of the phone so let's check out the device layout so first let's start off with the S Pen it's hidden away here in the bottom and no it will not come out no matter how hard you try and try to take that out so you have to press that and it will come out just like that and I absolutely love the tactile feedback it feels like a quality product and once you take the S Pen out the phone goes into this write memo on screen mode so let's just select a thicker tip I love it and this pen is actually pressure sensitive so if you press hard enough the thickness of the tip changes and there are additional tips provided in the package I'll show you that in a while and if you want you can save it in notes and there you go the screen just turns off and supposedly this S Pen is powered off a super capacitor which is inside the S Pen and to charge the super capacitor you just 
uh, insert the S Pen into the phone and it charges fully charges within 40 seconds so that's absolutely amazing great innovation by Samsung I absolutely love it and you can also use this uh, little button here for the camera shutter so that's new in the Note 9 I'm gonna explain the S Pen to you later on but yeah that's how it works I think it is Bluetooth because Bluetooth is not actually turned on right now but yeah the S Pen is connected to the phone and you can also check the battery level of the S Pen inside the phone so you go to settings tap on advanced features tap S Pen and tap S Pen remote and here it will show you the battery level of the S Pen the charge level of the super capacitor here you can configure different stuff but anyways guys I'm getting ahead of myself I just put this back in and I will give you a hardware tour of the phone alright so coming back to the bottom of the phone got the S Pen hidden over here we got the speaker this is the speaker which plays the lower frequencies the higher frequencies are played by this top speaker and we have stereo speakers tuned by AKG we have a microphone uh, we have a microphone over here we've got USB type C a headphone jack awesome we've got a headphone jack gotta love that I absolutely hate it when companies uh, remove this headphone jack I think the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is an essential part of a phone because it allows me to connect to it allows me to easily connect the phone to a hi-fi system even if it does not have Bluetooth and we have the antennas over here let's move on to the left side of the phone we've got Bixby button absolutely hate Bixby not going to set it up and we've got a volume rocker I love the tactile feedback of these buttons these are quite sturdy feel sturdy at least and here on the top of the phone we've got the sim card and the micro SD card tray this is a dual sim phone just like the S9 plus and we've got a secondary microphone for noise cancellation and if we move on to the right side we have the power button here let's move on to the back we've got the fingerprint sensor and I would have liked I would have liked to see this fingerprint sensor a little bit more a uh, little bit more lower somewhere, somewhere over here because the fingerprint sensor of the S9 Plus is much lower and it's so much more easier to reach this thing uh, compared to the Note 9 but then again that's just my early that, that's just my early thought I'm gonna review this phone uh, in, in a later video and I will let you guys know how, how it feels alright so this is where all the voodoo magic happens we've got two cameras so one of them is a telephoto camera and the interesting thing is both of these cameras have optical image stabilization so even if you're using the telephoto camera the image will be more stable so this is our primary camera both of these cameras are 12 megapixels the primary camera has a variable aperture so you can switch between f1.5 and f2.4 and I think the primary purpose of the variable aperture thing is to get that depth of field this camera has this live focus feature so it allows you to blur the background uh, it uses both the cameras but anyways I use f1.5 if I want the background to be blurred and I want the subject to be in focus just like over here you can see my hand is a little bit out of focus but if I change the aperture on the camera you can see my hand comes into focus but the narrower aperture allows less light to come into the camera so everything becomes dark so if I turn the if I bring the aperture to f1.5 you can see the image is much brighter but my hand is out of focus this thing works exactly like that I would not call it variable aperture just call it dual aperture because it switches between f1.5 and f2.4 so, and here we have LED flash here we have the uh, heart rate sensor and now we are taking a look at the top of the phone the iris scanner camera should be somewhere over here you can't really see it because the glass is dark this is our front facing camera it is an 8 megapixel camera it also has autofocus the front facing stereo speaker and it is a part of a stereo setup because we've got one speaker here which plays the higher and the mid frequency and the bottom speaker here plays the lower frequency so we've got great sound on the S9 plus and also the great sound should be carried over to the Note 9 it's a very similar setup to the S9 plus and we have the iris LED over here just to give you guys a quick idea on what it is 
the iris recognition LED glows like this so and I absolutely love the iris recognition you can see how quick it is to unlock the phone you can use the fingerprint sensor or you can use the iris recognition it's that easy so I'm going to set that up on the Note 9 so that's it for the hardware tour let's dive into the software and see what we get and if you compare the Note 9 to the S9 Plus you might notice that the Note 9 is less curved than the S9 Plus so I really like that I'm not a huge fan of curved phones but curved phones does feel much comfortable in the hand especially the S9 Plus the curved edge this part does not dig into my hand like my Sony phone does so this is one advantage you have on the uh, S9 Plus I think this is also very comfortable because the uh, edges of the phone are rounded like this and if you pay close attention you'll see that the Note 9's display is also less curved than the S9 Plus so it does give a feeling of a larger screen on the Note 9 although it is just 0.2 inches bigger than the S9 Plus but overall I, I, I get a feeling that the Note 9 is a much better phone uh, but I think a lot of people will have problems with the size of the Note 9. After all, the screen size of the Note 9 is 6.4 inches. That's quite huge. So if you're looking to get a smaller phone, go with the Galaxy S9 uh, rather than these huge devices. If you want something in middle, then go for the S9 Plus. Also, do check out different devices like OnePlus 6. That's a great value for money phone. Oh, and take a look at these. These are actually not clips. This is a tweezer and Samsung has supplied us with two additional tips for the S Pen so we can use this tweezer to take out the existing tip of the S Pen and replace them with different one in case that one breaks I think these should be available with Samsung in case you want to buy more tips alright so let's take a look at the software the lock screen home screen and different menus see how many apps are installed so this is completely untouched I stopped the software update because I want to show you guys how it's like from the how it's like out of the box so let's unlock it let's use the pin so this is our home screen we get this weird uh, orangey color wallpaper I think the wallpaper will differ from different phones if you buy a blue color uh, Note 9 the wallpaper will also be blue oh I think this wallpaper is much better than the previous one Galaxy and a Galaxy phone so you swipe up from bottom to top like this to reveal your apps and I'm quite happy that Samsung has not included much bloatware so let's just disable fair Facebook because I don't want to use that on this phone and yeah that's it not many apps here we've got some Microsoft apps some Google apps and some Samsung apps we have Samsung store it's called Galaxy Apps and a lot of people, I've seen many people mislead, misleading others on forums that Oh hey Samsung phones have a lot of bloatware But here you, are, here you are guys, this is right in front of you, a brand new Note 9 Not much bloatware on here except Microsoft, Microsoft Apps But eventually I was going to install Microsoft Apps because I do need PowerPoint and Word Let's look, let's go to settings, check and go to display screen mode is set to adaptive and yes you can change the different color profiles I like to have some much warmer tones on the display so warm is good and yes blue light filter is available by default and what else screen resolution is set to maximum which is 2960 into 1440p very high resolution display I absolutely love it and if you are a pixel peeper if you look close you won't be able to see any pixels on this display this is a very high resolution display and absolutely beautiful and we also have this option of block accidental touches so if you're holding the phone like this you will still be able to operate it without the pro without any problem even though you can see my finger is on the display so yeah it does block accidental touches a lot of people some someone was telling me that oh hey this is an edge screen so what happens if you keep your finger on here Really nothing happens because this phone is able to detect all those additional touches and block them without any problem. Once again you have this inside the security you have face unlock, face recognition, intelligent scan which combines iris and face recognition, iris scanner, fingerprint sensor and all that stuff is there. You also have secure folder which is kind of like a phone inside a phone because you can protect, you can install a separate copy of apps. Uh, 
on a separate protected uh, storage area of your phone uh, which is password protected so you can store all your sensitive stuff over there so when it comes to Android software, the Galaxy Note 9 is running Android 8.1.0 out of the box with Samsung Experience 9.5. And the security patch level is 1st July 2018 but don't worry guys, the August security patch level is here and I just have to install this update. Now coming to the cameras, the Note 9 has two 12 megapixel cameras. So the one on the left here, this is the telephoto lens camera. So this is two times optical zoom. It's fixed two times optical zoom and this is our main camera and both of these cameras have OIS. The main camera has that variable aperture thing and the front facing camera is here. This is a 8 megapixel camera and the front facing camera also has autofocus. So now the camera specs might not sound very impressive but trust me the picture quality is impressive especially the low light shots and these are some pictures that I clicked with the Note 9. You can see the noise level is very minimal, the pictures are crisp, crystal clear, good dynamic range, good exposure and plenty of details in the pictures. So here we are guys inside the camera software and this camera software of the Galaxy is very very powerful. There are a lot of options. So we have live focus which allows you to blur the background, can't demonstrate that like this. But if we jump into the pro mode, this is where all the magic happens. So here you can control the camera's aperture manually. Here you can also control the shutter speed. Okay, so where is the shutter speed? So the maximum shutter speed is 10 seconds. So you can provide a 10 second exposure on the lowest ISO settings, which is ISO 50. And the maximum is ISO 800. So in case you have a tripod stand, you can click some amazing pictures with this camera. So if so let me try and show you that variable aperture thingy. So here you can see the camera does change its aperture. If I press on the button, I'm just pressing on this button here, which allows you to change the camera's aperture. And my main camera does not, does not want to focus. So this is an option. And you can see the brightness also changes because that also changes the amount of light which is coming in the camera. So if you select one f1.5, uh, more light is going to come into the camera and to give you a better low light shot but yeah the camera quality man absolutely beautiful and amazing I think the camera quality should be identical to the S9 plus because it is essentially the same uh, exact same camera module 12 megapixel and you also have super slow mo video you have AR emoji which again I'm never ever going to use it's a redundant feature and hyperlapse is there and one more thing I love about the Note 9 camera is how close you can get to the subject. So I'm not using the zoom camera, this is the regular main camera and you can see how close I can get to my subject and click the picture and you can crop the picture later on and you can see how, man, how much detail there is in the picture. And if I use the zoom camera, you can get even closer to your subject. Although the quality of the zoom camera is not not as good as the main camera but still if you want some really cool close-up shots you can use the zoom camera to get really really close to your subject and that is awesome and in the camera app itself you have some beauty filters so these are regular filters and if you press this little button here you'll get to beauty filters so you have different effects and you can download more of them if you press this button so if you jump into camera settings, we can record in UHD 4K 60fps or full high definition 60fps. But to be very honest, I've never recorded in 4K, let alone 4K 60fps. I prefer recording in full high definition 30fps because it is compatible with wide variety of devices. And you can change the picture size from over here. You can also save pictures in RAW. So you have that option. Great front facing camera 16 is to 9 you can change the aspect ratio and you can also record in QHD which is 1440p with the front facing camera on this phone and what else you also have HDR and you can take pictures through gestures love it thumbs up and again I really love the cameras of this phone they are 
very high quality even though they, it does not have much megapixels it has 8 megapixel front facing camera and 12 megapixel rear camera the quality is top notch that is something I absolutely love about and don't worry guys this thing you can use the volume shutter to uh, as a camera shutter button so no problem so let's try using the S Pen as a camera shutter button so press the S Pen button to take pictures control music and a wide variety of and wide range of apps so what if I press the button so it says take pictures let's open that up once again so it should take a picture and double tap should switch the camera beautiful this will take a little bit of work to get used to but I think all of this stuff is configurable single press take picture double press switch camera <laughs> amazing guys this thing is so damn powerful there are so many options available on this phone I think I will take a little bit of time to get used to this thing so guys out of 128 gigabytes 108 gigabytes of storage is available out of box and no I have not installed any additional apps so there is a ton of storage available and this phone supports up to 512 gigabytes of SD card storage so you can have a ton of storage space on this phone if you pick up a 512 gigabyte phone and insert a 512 gigabyte SD card then you have one terabyte of storage on your phone that's absolutely crazy and out of the box we have 2.7 gigabytes of RAM free so there's plenty of memory plenty plenty of RAM available uh, for the phone to work with so if you press that clean now button it should free up additional RAM I I haven't had any problems with my S9 plus doing multitasking you've seen me doing it and 6 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for the phone to work with and once again this thing has a 4000 milliamp hour battery and let's see how that works out and if you go to sound and vibration scroll down here this phone also has Dolby Atmos and if you turn Dolby Atmos on the sound quality of this phone is absolutely amazing through these stereo speakers and even the headphones sounds amazing and guys I think that the Galaxy Note 9 is the most complete smartphone you can buy at the moment Thankfully, Samsung is not following that hideous notch trend. They are sticking with the infinity display design which was introduced with the Galaxy S8. And with the Note 9, the bezels have been trimmed so you have slightly more screen area to work with with the same form factor as the Note 8. I love the S Pen stylus and because this is a powered stylus, it has a little super capacitor in it. There is so much more you can do with this thing. You can use it as a camera remote shutter. Or you can use the stylus to flip through photos or do a powerpoint presentation very useful we also have a headphone jack so you can plug in your favorite headphones or connect it to an audio system without a bluetooth without bluetooth functionality and yes no dongles are needed for this note 9 also comes with a huge 4000 milliamp hour battery and fast wireless charging and we also have that same great camera which was in the galaxy s9 plus and trust me the camera of the note 9 is great so guys these are my first impressions about the note 9 stay tuned for my full review which will come up very soon so thank you for watching this video hit the like button if you like the video follow me on instagram and subscribe for more